So, hello. My surgery's coming up. Surgery is in two days. Today's Wednesday. Surgery is Friday. And I'm not looking forward to it at all. Mainly because I can't sit down. It's going to be uncomfortable to sit down. I'm going to have stitches on my butt crack. I'm not necessarily looking forward to that at all. Um, sorry, people walking by. And, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to getting it over with and no longer having to deal with it. Um, but, yes, my surgery is Friday morning at... It's said to be there at 10 o'clock. Uh, but the surgery won't be until noon, of course. Um... And yeah, school is going, school is going. Um, I'll be going on a Northern California college tour. Um, I haven't, well, yeah, I don't know what it is. Um, well, I know what it is. It's a Northern California college tour. Apparently, we're going to go on a couple of different, go to a couple of different schools um, up in Northern California. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be during spring break, which is going to be... April 7th, I believe. Um, and yeah, we'll be in some hotel rooms and I'll have to share rooms with people and that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, so Friday's my surgery, two days away. And oh my God, the worst thing. Okay, so the previous surgeries were like really early in the morning, like seven, eight o'clock. So I had to be at the doctor's office or the hospital, like literally six o'clock in the morning or something um and it was perfect because it says don't eat before midnight or after midnight after midnight um so it's like i go to sleep and then i wake up and then i'm at the hospital now it's literally like go to sleep wake up be awake for hours possibly without eating or drinking that's gonna be tough at least to not drink water oh, oh i'm not looking forward to that at all these are new glasses I got them last week, I think. Okay, um, surgery's Friday. Bye. Okay, tomorrow is my surgery. I'm out. I had to go to the Trader Joe's, which is behind me somewhere. And now we're here at Target. Um, I need to get a couple of things like paper plates, deodorant, and some juice, water, stuff that I won't be able to carry tomorrow when I have stitches in my butt crack. So, I'm gonna put this stuff up from Trader Joe's in the car as soon as I can find the car. Dora, found it. And yeah, tomorrow's my surgery. I'm gonna be up at probably seven. I'll drop off my car. Yeah, so the plan is for tomorrow. I'm dropping off my car at the mechanic at nine. My mom's picking me up from the mechanic and taking me to the hospital. I'm gonna have my surgery. And depending on how I feel, I might pick up my car and then just take myself home. Or my mom might drop me off at home. And then I pick up my car the next day, which will be Saturday. Um, I guess we'll see how I feel. I feel like I'll be fine. Um, I don't think I'm gonna wanna not have my car, which, is, which will be weird anyway, cause it's not like I'm gonna be able to drive or go do anything. And also my hair is a mess. I had a hat on earlier and those are the results of the hat. A hot mess. So yeah, tomorrow's my surgery. I'm pretty excited to get it over with. Ready for it to be done. Ready to no longer have any stitches. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'll throw these are old glasses. I just threw them on. And I'm gonna go. It's surgery day. It's the day of the surgery and I'm kind of actually running around trying to pick stuff up. I'm running a little late. Um, not late. It's Alexa. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's like eight forty-five. Eight forty-eight. So I'm not running super late. I would actually like to have been leaving right now, but I had to like I was finishing some homework and da da da. You know how. So I wanted to show my little butt crack first before it's before my butt crack turns into a different butt crack. I guess from the second, first butt crack change. Okay, let's see it. Ugh. Right here. So like literally right here, it's like a little bit of pressure. Uh, oh, I 
can feel like something hard, like right here. Um, and that's usually how it happens. Like I can feel like a buildup, I guess, of like the liquid, like right here. Um, so I could put the liquid and stuff like almost like I can almost feel it like pouring out of me. Um, but it actually has been doing it very a lot lately, like a lot lately. Like it almost knows that like it's time for surgery or something. Cause the last week I feel like it has been a lot of liquid and stuff has been coming out. Oh, there it is. Um, a lot has been coming out. Um, the last week. So it's like, it knows that it's time and it knows that it's time is running out. And the time is running out because it's time to go drop off my car. That's still there. Mm -hmm. um, it's time to go drop off my car at the mechanic and then my mom is meeting me at the mechanic. And then we're going to go to the hospital. Yes. Um, I'll probably see you at the actual hospital. Um, here we go. One last thing. I'm dying. I am so dying. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. And I can't do anything. I have been up since maybe like 7 o'clock. It's at 2 hours. And I am dying. I am so hungry and I'm so thirsty. I took my medicine, but I'm not, I'm not supposed to be drinking. But, I mean, like, I'm thirsty, so. I'm not going to drink, like, a lot. But I'm definitely thirsty and I need to drink something. Um, so that was good. That was enough, hopefully. We'll see. But I am dying because I'm so thirsty and I'm so hungry. And officially, surgery is not until 12. So I have hours to go. Not looking forward to the rest of this. We'll see. I'm here. Waiting on my crap there. And here goes the waiting. I got like an hour and a half to sit here. Catch you on the flip side. I'm all done. And it hurts so bad. You can't see much, but so. Um, let me see if I can get a little better. I can't see much. I'm still in the bathroom. <coughs> I had to pee. Um, this is a female pad that I have on. And I'm pretty... I feel okay, actually. I just need to go home and eat because I'm hungry and stuff. So, um, let me get dressed. I have left the hospital, as you can see, and I'm walking. I feel pretty okay. I mean, my butt, like, I, I had surgery on my butt, so my butt feels a little weird. Uh, my butt crack specifically um, feels weird, but other than that, I feel okay. My mouth is totally dry. Um, and yeah, my mom's car stopped. Well. It wouldn't start the battery's dead somehow well the battery's dead so she's over here somewhere with triple a people and i got tired of waiting in the hospital so there's the hospital behind me oh look at my mouth my lips are so dry um i have my prescription i need to go to walgreens um yeah I'm just kind of walking pretty slowly. Um, I still have to look in my car, which I think I'll be fine. Um, I'm going to get my car. So yeah, oof, let's see if I can walk backwards that better. Wow, so much better. My hospital. So yeah, okay, I'm here. I'm gonna go to the car. Oh. Let me show you what they got me. A donut. And it's not the donuts that I like. <laughs> Nor me or Homer Simpson enjoy these donuts. Um, so, okay.
Go. I am going to CVS. This is the third freaking CVS that I've come to. Every CVS that I've been to does not have the medicine. I think, let me see what the doctor gave me. I think it's Narco. Narcos. No one freaking has them. This is the third CVS that I've come to. Hopefully they have them so I can get them. So, oh, and the lighting is so bad, it's crazy. Okay, bye. Okay, I dropped off my food. <laughs> I've dropped off my prescription and I placed an order for some food at L&L &L, Hawaiian barbecue. Where is L&L? &L? Oh, you're not gonna be able to see it. It's back there. And now I'm here. You can probably see from the red lines at Target to pick up some popcorn and some snacks so that I don't have to leave the house. Hopefully for the weekend, maybe. Probably not. I'm sure I'll be gone by tomorrow. But. I'm here picking up a couple of snacks from Target. Some popcorn. I got my medicine. Now we're leaving. Getting in this car is gonna be horrible. We're here. I'm in the car. I'm so thirsty. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's cute. Oh, he's delivering food. Okay, I'm so hot. I'm so hungry. There's so much traffic. I'm so annoyed. Oh my god. Well, there was no medicine. So I got the doctor prescribed me 40. What was it? 40. 40 pills. I was only able to get the prescription filled for 23 because that's all CVS had. And this is the third CVS, three, that I went to today, like since I've gotten done, done with surgery. I went to three different CVSs and none of them had any. So when he was like, we have 24, I was like, I'll take it. I don't care, whatever. So when I go back to my follow-up appointment on Thursday, if I still need any, I'll just have to ask the doctor to give me a whole new prescription for a couple of more. Uh, but I think I might be fine. I don't know. So now I'm finally going home. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to sleep. Eat my medicine. Eat my medicine. Take my medicine. Eat some food and go to sleep. So today has been freaking crazy. I'm so annoyed. and I'm just so ready to be out of everything that I'm in. And yeah. So peace out.